Most businesses rely on two kinds of accountants. Financial accountants like Jim here. Say hello, Jim. Hello. And managerial accountants like Jane. Say hello, Jane. Hello, Jane. Very funny. Both are absolutely essential to business operations. So what is the difference between these two number crunchers? As a financial accountant, I keep track of the company's financial records and produce documents like balance sheets and income statements. Investors and creditors outside the company can access these documents to know if the company is in good financial standing and make decisions based on that information. As a managerial accountant, Jane also uses the information in these documents. I'll take Jim's data and do my own calculations and produce different documents for the company's managers. Even though a manager would want to know if the company's revenue is down, my job is to make sure the manager knows why. You see, Jane can break down the company's spending by department, product, or process and tell the manager exactly how much it costs to produce the company's product or service. Using that information, I can help the company find ways to change spending, outsource production, or buy long-term assets like new machinery or property. Later on, she'll provide financial analysis on these decisions to see if they were actually beneficial to the company's overall financial health. Managerial accounting is about taking a company's financial information and turning it into something useful for managers and decision makers. In this course, you're going to assess real companies through case studies and in-depth research. By the end of this graduate level course, you'll be able to use accounting for planning, control, and feedback. Evaluate how business trends impact accounting practices. Compare different methods of assessing capital investments. And more.